It's so easy to get caught up on the iconic photograph. It's obvious, it's easy, and it's iconic for a reason. But so often the difference between a good photograph and a great photograph is simply putting a unique twist on a classic shot. Today, at a Faroese icon, that's exactly what I tried to do. But first, so today it seems like the rains and fog have let up, but the winds have picked up. So we're here, we're doing kind of the same thing we've done every day in the Faroe Islands. We're gonna shoot as many locations as possible. Our first stop today is this very, very Instagrammy location. Uh, it's just this twisty bit in the road that just S turns right down to this beautiful view. In the Instagram world, you get a guy on a skateboard or a girl on a skateboard in the frame. Unfortunately, none of us know how to skateboard. So we're just gonna take a normal picture. Location number two now, which is uh, Fossa, the big huge waterfall. The weather is perfect. Um, it's a little bit bright, but the waterfall itself is in the shadow. So I think for these photos, I'm just gonna cut out the sky completely and uh, try to work a nice foreground. Maybe get a person in the frame. There's some uh, there's some other photographers up here right now as well. So yeah, we'll make this happen. This is an amazing spot, and the weather finally is cooperating. We shot the bottom and then out of nowhere a tour bus showed up. We haven't seen tourists the entire time we've been here and then a whole tour bus showed up. But uh, I pulled ahead a little bit and I've got a really nice simple composition of this waterfall using a six stop ND that I borrowed from Mike because he's got a bigger lens and he doesn't need this one. And my four stop medium grad ND to hold in all this drama on the top. And like I said, it's a very simple shot but just, it works. It's fantastic. And I'm really, really happy with this. And uh, yeah, I think maybe we'll keep exploring here, try to find a couple more compositions, then try to find spot number three. Location number three, we came here a while ago. This is, well not here, but this is where the death of my six stop ND happened up on that cliff. You can see the sea stacks that way. You've got waves, a black sand beach here. A little bit harsh light, but I think I'm gonna pull out the long lens and maybe try to get a crashing wave in front of the sea stacks over here. Slightly slower exposure, show some movement. Um, we'll see what happens, we'll see if this works.
three days these guys have been obsessively talking about the fact that there's a Highland cow somewhere on the island and saying, we need to find this cow, we need to find this cow, we need to find it. And then we're just driving towards the iconic famous waterfall and posing majestically up on the hill slope are these two Highland cows and it's, uh, it's hilarious. Okay, that was amazing. Not only did we find the Highland cow that they've been hoping for, but there was a little baby that looks like it was born this week. Just tiny, so cute. Um, it's about an hour and a half until sunset now. Again, the light situation's not great, but we're gonna head back to the iconic waterfall, Mullafasser, because we got good photos the other day, but not mind-blowing photos. So we're gonna try to nail that down today since it's one of our last shoots already on the Faroe Islands, which is crazy. You guys know that I love pretending that I know what's gonna happen with the light. I'm gonna pretend that this is gonna be terrible because I know there's a lot of a haze on the horizon, but I do think that there's gonna be a moment where the sun comes under that cloud and it all lights up. So I, it's just a matter of finding a composition and waiting for that to happen. But I think it's gonna happen. Now that I've jinxed myself, probably won't. So waterfall, it looks like there's more water and heavier waves today, which is great. There's big swell hitting here. Uh, I think it'll look fantastic with a really long exposure. The other day I shot an image from up here and then I went down to the bottom to find other compositions. I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. Shoot one image from up top here and then head down to the bottom and try to find something a little bit more unique. The light is incredible. It's really, it's not perfect, but it's pretty close to it. I, I'm not complaining, that's for sure. And the scene is incredible too, just because the seas are so rough. But when things are looking really good, it's kind of easy to fall into this trap of just shooting the same photo over and over and over again because it looks good. But once you get the good photo, move on to something else. And up here, you really only have one major composition, at least with a wide angle. Sure, you could throw on the long lens and shoot some telephoto stuff, stuff like that. But I want to go back down the stairs. So I'm going to pack up my bag. I'm going to go down these steep stairs and it looks like there's some tide pools or maybe rain pools down that way. That might be an interesting foreground to the waterfall. So I'm going to climb down and uh, hope this light sticks around. Those are the stairs. There's Mike way up top there. So I came all the way down here. Woo, it's windy down here. Um, yeah, it's crazy. The lights also kind of died on us, but it's interesting down here. It's definitely different 
and that's kind of what I like. The images aren't fantastic. They're definitely better from the top. They're be definitely better composed from the top, but down here it's something different. There's this green algae in the water, and it almost looks like toxic sludge or something like that. And it makes for a really interesting foreground to this background. It's just, again, it's a, like a whole palette of colors. Greens there, blues in the seas, and then yellows up on the hilltop, and then a little bit of blue and pink and stuff like that in the sky as well. So um, even if it's windy, and even if it's not maybe the greatest shot I ever took, it's definitely something different than what you usually see here, and uh, I think that's cool. So, um, yeah, as the weather's turning, I think it's probably time to pack up and head back uh, back to the apartment. I just want to point out that I'm the Suzuki, we're the Suzuki, and somehow they boxed us in. We're on the Faroe Islands in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing but space and somebody's boxed in the car. 